Hey hobbyists, Brennan here with Privateer Press. Last time we explored a new element of the Crucible Guard. Today, we'll be adding some alchemical glow effects to our model. Let's get started. So we have here a Prospero from a previous video, and today we're gonna to be painting up three spots for the orange glow, which will be here, here, and here. Our first step is going to be Menoth White Highlight. We wanna make sure we do this in a couple layers to get good opaque coverage. We wanna make sure it's nice and watered down so it flows similar to a wash. That way it's easier to control in this small area. So we're just gonna fill this in like so. So the wash is creating the capillary action here, which is what we want, which is why we made this into a wash, so it fills the area. Now we need to wait for that to dry. Once your first layer is fully dry, you'll want to do it again. This time try to focus more on the center, because we just need that to become more opaque before we move on. You mess up, that's okay. You can just use your finger to erase some of the mistake or your happy accident. Your accident. All right. Once your Menoth White highlight is fully dry, we're gonna move on to Cygnus Yellow. We're gonna make this into a wash as well, so you're gonna add some water. A good amount so that it flows easily. And we're gonna apply that over top of the Menoth White highlight. It's okay if it covers too much because we can always go back and reclaim the Menoth White highlight before we go to the glaze. All right, once that's fully dry, we're going to do some heart fire. And we're gonna also add some water again. We want it to flow well. And then this layer is going to be a lot more subtle than the Cygnus Yellow was. I'm just trying to edge the outside. So it kind of just starts to get that orange color added to it. When the heart fire layer is dry, we're gonna go back to Menoth White Highlight. I suggest getting some fresh from the pot so it's thicker, because you want this to apply as opaquely as possible. And here we just wanna add a center dot, just to add that brightness. That will be the origin of the glow. All right, once that layer is dry, we're gonna to move to our blazing ink, which will be the final step. We want to wipe that off to get good coverage, but we don't want it to pull, because we just want to glaze over top of the previous layers, blend it all together, and turn it into orange. I am letting it pull just on the outskirts of the glow, just for a little more intensity. And finally, to bring back the hot spot, I'm gonna add Menoth Watt Highlight to the center point of the glow one final time. And there you go, an easy and fast technique to do some orange glow for your Crucible Guard army. Orange, you glad we painted all that glow? Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and check out the links below for more in this series and additional information on the P3 Hobby Line. For more videos, and check out links below for more in series and additionals. <laughs> <laughs> Information on the P3 Hobby Line.